I don't know about you, but it feels like we're under attack right now. Just like ongoing, when is this thing ever going to stop? The frustration, the, the people that are sick, the people that are hurting, the people that are in need, the people that are losing their jobs. Whenever it feels like the devil is attacking, when he's testing you, it's important to remember that sometimes God's preparation comes packaged as pain. In other words, there is a purpose in your pain. The pain that we're experiencing may be preparation for the purpose that God has prepared for us. Jesus prophesied that Peter would end up denying Jesus three times, even before the rooster crowed. What's incredibly painful about this, Jesus actually saw Peter do it. The scripture says this, the Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word the Lord had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows today, you will disown me three times. And Peter went outside and wept. The pain felt like it was more than he could take. I'm just such a failure. I let God down. I haven't lived up to my potential. I'm such a failure. I know so many people that feel like this right now. Where was God? in the middle of Peter's failures. Where was God in the middle of his pain, his regret? There was a purpose, there was a reason. Don't just look at life from a perspective of pain, but see your pain through a perspective of purpose. Realize that God may be doing something in you before he does something through you. That the difficult thing that you're going through right now, it's not without purpose. God may have allowed it to strengthen you in a way that only this pain could strengthen you. In Romans 8, 28, we know that in all things, our good God works for the good of those who love him, watch this, who have been called according to his purpose. We know that in all things, that means that in the promotion or in the layoff, that means in the blessing of the relationship or in the breakup, God works in all things, everything, whatever you're going through right now, this season, God works in all things for the good, according to God's purpose, not according to your pain. What I want to do is change the perspective of which I look at life and see God's hand of purpose even working in the middle of my pain. See your pain through a perspective of purpose.